Uh, so I've got another good uh, project here that I finished up tonight, or at least got to a point where I wanted to, um, where I wanted to get to. Um, so what you're looking at here is the um, uh, the I2S ADC to DAC um, application that is on the um, <clears throat> ESP uh, example code. Uh, it's on Git. Uh, it's just a small program here, uh, but what it does is pretty cool. Um, this um, I, I2S ADC uh, DAC uh, allows you to play um, WAV files um, on the ESP. Um, and I never really understood it until now, but basically you have uh, two pins. Uh, let's see if I can see those on here. The two pins, the 25 and the 26. That's basically left and right speaker. Um, but what you can do is, um, I actually have a WAV file of my grandmother, uh, reciting her, uh, favorite Bible verse, uh, something I recorded, uh, probably, I don't know, four years ago, and she recently passed away. Um, so... What's your favorite Bible verse? Lord God is my strength. He will give me the speed of a deer and will lead me safely over the mountain. Uh, so this is Audacity, um, and I had to do a few things to it to get it to a point where it could actually, so you could actually hear it. Um, but basically, you change uh, the um, the rate uh, there. Um, to anything below sixteen thousand doesn't work; it has too much static. Uh, but you can also increase the the volume as well. And I had to do that a little bit because it was so soft. But anyway, you save it as a, um, or you, I'm sorry, you export it as a WAV, um, and you do it as um, unsigned 8-bit. Uh, uh, I just, I don't think it matters. I just pick Microsoft WAV, um, and then give it a name and save it. Um, and then after you do that, uh, then you have to pull it into a, a hex editor. Uh, so that you can save uh, the uh, hex values uh, in a format that can be read in a C program. Um, and this is just, um, there are several out there. I downloaded the one for Mac. It's a WX text editor. Um, and what you do is uh, do a um, uh, copy as, and you select, there's several options in here. You select the C. C++ source and do 8 byte um, that's and that comes from the instructions on the readme file and get uh, and this actually has to be set to 16 uh, and what you do is you copy it uh, and then paste it to uh, a text editor uh, I'm just using uh, Sublime um, and you uh, paste it in here and um, this is where stop working. Come on mouse, come back. There you go. Um, you have to kind of add some things to it. You have to add uh, this uh, variable information for the array here. Um, and then you have to put um, uh, a comma, uh, a comma and a semicolon in here and then save it. And then um, uh, compile your program. Uh, it compiles pretty fast, uh, but I'll show you uh, how well it sounds. Here's not bad, actually pretty good. Let it boot up here. And I've just got uh, an old JBL speaker that I've been hanging on to. What's your favorite Bible? So that's pretty cool, and that all is coming from the ESP. Um, the WAV file is uh, encoded into the program, uh, and it's on that little black chip that you see there, a little square black chip. So, I thought that was pretty cool.